hi there so i was just do i was just cleaning after my a reading so i was just cleaning after a reading and i was just doing a rehash oh my god this is just one of those situations where one reading leads to another i did a pick a card reading on my indonesian channel and one of the um cards that popped up were was the damsel and i did a part three of the not so innocent employee who tried to uh, trap a boss into marriage and they didn't get what they wanted and so the masculine energy they try they, they're, they're bringing the masculine um energy uh authority figure to court and they're going to sue them for abuse of authority and i just realized that in part two of that series i never spoke about i never really kind of spoke about um the shadow side of these this damsel card which says waiting for a night to provide for you seduction by romantic illusion and i wanted to know what and i just decided to um rehash that in a short a shorter video that i'm going to attach to that series and while i was cleaning um up and i was just about to you know put my tarot in my tarot box back in the tarot deck and oh my god i'm so tired you guys i'm so tired um sorry um but i was just putting my stuff back and this chariot card in reverse came out with the justice and the ace of wands and this five of swords which is conflict so first we have the the um chariot in reverse which is i mean it can literally mean a car it can literally mean um a reckless driver this could really mean uh um a bad driving habits and justice is an injustice and a terrible new beginning of starting off on the wrong foot and a hostile environment and um heartbreak so i wanted to know what that's about okay so let's just do um a reading to clarify what this is about and make this a kind of what you need to know style reading i guess um let's ask who this is about though let's see who this is about hero and heroine light attribute passion for a journey for personal empowerment shadow attribute escapism and a false sense of heroism hmm i feel like somebody this could be a terror reader this could be a private investigator this could be a like something somebody who just does detective work you know like those amateur um sleuths right so somebody here is an amateur sleuth or a, or a professional. I'm, I'm, the thing is, I'm not getting a cop. I'm not getting a, an official copper. I'm getting somebody who is just there because either they um, are intuitive, they're empaths, or they're psychic and they caught something. And or they were hired they're a private investigator um a pi a private detective or they're just uh uh well not just i wouldn't call an amateur sleuth just because sometimes they do actually do a lot of help or this could be maybe a crime youtuber a prince romantic charm and potential for power using power for aggrandizement okay so why do I feel like this is the person they're trying to save? So somebody, uh, an amateur sleuth, might be trying to help a prince. Okay. And this card can also uh, indicate loss of control. Loss of control of something. And I feel like lo loss of control in a legal matter about something that shouldn't have started, that started. So this could be the start of, let's say... Um, a sexual a sexual relation that shouldn't have happened um this can be a creative project that shouldn't have happened because maybe the idea was plagiarized from somewhere else this could be um i'm really sorry to say this because i i i like to believe that no birth on earth is a mistake okay i like to believe that everybody who comes to this earth plane belongs on earth but I also believe that sometimes some people have children for the wrong reasons, okay? And I just recently did a reading 
about what does a comic want from your person, which I will... Sorry about that, I had to pause the video because I live right near right next to a mosque well not right next to a mosque but very close to a mosque and i have to um pause the video when there's a call of prayer because um um you know it's it's considered um disrespectful impolite to speak over the call of prayer so i always have to pause my videos during a call of prayer so where were we what is this hermit Ooh, i feel like this is okay you are a hermit so this hero heroine is also a hermit, which makes me think that they do their work online. So again, I'm getting YouTube amateur sleuth or um, somebody who does the investigations online. So it's like a PI. It's like a private investigator, like a private detective, but they do their work by um, trawling through digital trails, digital footprints. Um, or something like that. But yeah, um, I think this reading is not about the the prince himself. I think this is this pertains to this person, this this person who's investigating because I feel like whatever this person did, whether this is a terror reader who picked up on some some nefarious scheme or plot or plan, or this is um, an intuitive, I, I don't know how this person found out what they found out, but I, I feel like because this person found out what they found out, um, they've pretty much, they're pretty much a target now. Because um, there's another reader on YouTube, and I, let, me, let me just look her up so I can just um, refer you to her. Wait, because I was just, I just saw her um, video this morning, and she was just talking about how some people are really scared of you now because you are intuitive and let me just um go through my youtube watch history okay so the video i just watched this morning oh please don't tell me it, it was deleted okay it's from for me tarot um here's the channel so it's this video okay can you see it's this video oh please um focus this video watch this video okay i'm sorry i um <laughs> don't have any nail polish on i feel naked when i don't have nail polish on but anyway it's that video please watch that video because i feel like that video is also for people the people who are um who this video is meant for oh and there's another one there's another one which one is it it's there's another channel i think it's teddy's tarot so it is okay this is teddy's tarot also check out her channel so that's how you spell her um that's how you spell her name can you see okay so that's how you spell her name um please focus so that is teddy's tarot and i think it was I can't remember which one it was. What you need to know, someone doesn't believe you. Yes, I think it's this one. Please watch that one too, because that one I feel like is also for whoever this reading is for, because I'm getting somebody, um, <laughs> somebody either um, sent something or um, I'm just going to have a quick drink. Mm. Somebody picked up on somebody else's plan and now because um they expose these people now they're in trouble so i'm just going to um do a really quick reading on that um oops whoa oh god it's the broom so i feel like this can mean abuse so be careful of intimidation tactics Oh, when people are going to try to kind of silence you because this is a star card, but it's in reverse. And I know you're not supposed to read Lenormand cards in the reverse because Lenormand cards do not get read in reverse. But um, this can usually mean, um, it can literally mean um, expansion, multiplications. This can mean um, um, disbursement of 
communications information basically people are trying to get you silenced they don't want you to which makes me think you have a platform um if you are a, a tarot youtuber you should really oh, what is this oh right see this is a sun card and the sun card i always read the sun card as um when it's in the reverse like this it's always about something being brought to light some the 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 light is being shown onto something and i i really feel like people are so, even if they didn't believe you in the beginning even if they thought that this was that this is bullshit among this is um i actually just learned um taurus excretus excretus taurus excretus it's it's basically the latin word for bullshit i just thought that was so funny i don't know why i felt compelled to say that but maybe it's going to resonate for, for for some some of you maybe the person you you, you you're, you're just exposing I, I don't know why i'm stuttering um <coughs> see must be my throat chakra um i feel like some see i i i'm getting brain fog now i can't remember it's, I'm just having one of my autoimmune um, flare-ups and I really shouldn't be doing a reading but you know the cards came out and I have to kind of break them down because I really felt like this chariot in reverse meant something um, I don't know maybe somebody owns a car company and whatever anyway somebody is is trying to get you is trying to prevent this information for, for coming out so I would be careful um what else do we need to know about this situation okay i really i really feel like okay this person might have thought that terror was bullshit and that people who can read um minds and psychics were bullshit but then i think you got into something really really specific and now they're freaked out Ooh. okay here's why you expose somebody and because of what you expose them for now they have lost a, a financial opportunity so for example you could have um you could have exposed a scammer you could have exposed somebody's scheme to you know um separate somebody from their money somebody was counting on something to bring them a lot of money but because you expose them now they can't get their money because also, another thing I'm getting from this, if they're not, if they have no way to intimidate you, let's say you're in a different country, you're in a different country and you're just some random terror reader and they have no means to physically intimidate you, for example, try to find where you live and, and oh, that's scary. That's really scary. Um, what I'm getting is that because, because, because you're online, they feel really threatened and they're afraid that the information you have will spread. And if it reaches the peop certain people, they might lose um, they might lose a financial opportunity. I really feel like this is somebody who's scamming or scheming. Either scamming or scheming. Either this is somebody who is outright scamming, um, Nigerian prince style, or this is somebody scheming. So for example, let's say... Um, um, somebody is a honeypot so they pretend to be attracted to another person to get their money or something you know it, it's not the same thing as being a sugar baby a sugar baby at least um you can at least you can say a sugar baby is just honestly a sugar baby you know they they, they, they don't hide the fact that they're anything else they don't pretend to be something else but this is somebody who i feel like she wants to be why did i say she they want it wants to be a sugar baby but they're hiding it behind something else and okay what else do we need to know a secret yeah you are totally exposing a secret you are you and the thing is the thing is you might be if you're anything like me you don't let go of things easily so if you pick up on an energy if you get a channeled message about a certain storyline you will come back and make part two part three part four of that same storyline and it just if whoever if let's say you're a, a tarot youtuber let's say you're a tarot youtuber and you did a part one part two part three part four of the same i just saw one four 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 so yeah um you let's say you create an entire series and whoever watches this series in its entirety 
will be able to save themselves from a precarious situation, from an unfortunate situation. I'm even getting that if somebody watches, let's say you do a part one, part two, part three, part four. And remember when I said four, I just saw one, four, four, four. So that just confirms. Um, if you do a part four and somebody um, watches all four of those episodes, they might be actually be able to save an empire, save their life savings, save themselves from a lot of trouble, whatever that may be. But this person is afraid of people watching your content in its entirety if you're in on YouTube. Or if you're a private detective, people don't want people to know about all your findings in its entirety. There's something like that going on. It's very weird. Um, dog, workplace, and long term. Okay, so somebody, the secret about somebody that's meant to be loyal in a workplace. Loyalty? Why is loyalty a bad thing though? Because what I'm, the, the vibes I'm getting, this is the dog and this is a fox. So somebody loyal at the workplace and there's secrets spilled about that loyal person at the workplace. Oh, I see. So this, this person is not loyal to the person that you're about to save. Right? This person is not loyal to the person that you're about to save. This person is loyal to somebody else who's a fox. So the dog is loyal. Okay, so let's say um, you're trying to save somebody from losing their life savings, losing the empire, losing the life's work, and you're pointing, fi you're pointing your finger toward somebody this person thinks is loyal to them, but that person's loyalty actually lies elsewhere and you know what i would highly recommend watching uh bailey sarian's recent video about the lisa frank history because that will give you a lot of clues on what is going on in this situation because i watched that video and immediately it clicked i just realized oh my god this is exactly the situation i'm trying to prevent so watch that video. If you're a sleuth and you picked up on the energy of somebody trying to swindle something out of somebody, and if it's especially if it's a company, I would highly recommend watching that Lisa Frank uh, video. And what what advice do we have for you? Because I'm getting that you basically have a bullseye on. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, um, yeah, um, yeah, be careful, especially if this is a feminine energy, if the person that you're, um, exposing is a feminine energy, this, this person is really dangerous, okay, and they are mad as fuck with you right now for exposing their, um, their motives, their MO, their, their, I, I really don't have a good feeling about this. Okay, so let's find some advice, some workable advice. Um, okay. Kippa! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just really kind of um, shook by this because I feel like... <sighs> okay, so what advice do we have for you? Because I have a feeling whoever I'm talking about, you're not going to back down. You're not going to back down. I can, I can, I know you're not going to back down. Okay. Military person. Well, don't back down. If you don't want to back down, don't back down. Because the Kippa cards are telling you that don't back down because there is a lot of hope for you. So if you are exposing scammers and schemers and gold diggers and, well, I mean... If a gold digger is honest about being a gold digger, then let her be. But, you know, there are people who are really scammers and they pretend to be, oh, I'm, I'm just this independent person. But behind the scenes, they're scheming to get men to transfer their assets to them. Then, well, they should be outed. They deserve to be outed. That's just my personal opinion. If you're going to be pretentious about it, then you deserve to be outed. Um, the cards are basically saying, don't stop. Don't stop. Um... Don't stop exposing these people because there's nothing they can do about it. 
um, be um, be polite in your okay first of all be strategic um, so you have to be um, so y you can't name names that's that's first of all do not name names um, be adaptable because I'm getting this iguana um, chameleon I'm getting chameleon I know this is an iguana but I'm I'm also getting the word chameleon from this and be strategic and this is the rich good gentleman so I would I would I would um, be be very um, well mannered about the way I um, communicate things, um, and by well mannered I mean don't name names. Obviously, don't get yourself into legal trouble. Um, yeah, living room main person. Oh my god! You know what? I think the main person that you're trying to save. They will actually find your channel if rich girl and they find you to be very um they find you to be very spiritually enriched. They think you have a, a rich personality. Um people actually like you. So if 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 you're um I don't think people think you're a bad person. Receiving a gift, a house, short illness. Yeah, this is temporary. If if you're worried about having uh, a bullseye on your back, that will change, and you will actually hear from these people. These people you're trying to you will you will get pleasant news. If these people, a little child, you will get a new beginning, or you will have a child. Why do I think you're going to have a child? You're going to have a child. Okay, this is really random, and I and this is okay. This is really random, and I don't know if this is going to have anything to do with the detective story and the tarot reader story, but if you have a child, somebody is going to be really jealous that you have this child, because look at this, or children, or multiple children, and there's a giraffe, one, two, three, four dolls, and a giraffe, and there's this child, but then there's this crow, but I don't think the crow is, well, I guess people are, some people will give you the evil eye. Definitely, some people will give you the evil eye. But um, other than that, um, okay, some people will give you the evil eye. You might... Yeah, there's a lot going on in your life. There's a lot going on in your life. Um, you might be worried about a job. No, but, okay, this is this is some other stuff going on um, um, on the sidelines of your life. But... Um, we're just going to focus on some things that are happening in 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 relation to this 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 story, this scheme, this um, thing that you're about to expose. Whatever this is, you just um, people are going to feel really comfortable um, on your platform. For, so, for example, let's say you're. Um, you have a YouTube channel and you that's where you post your, your readings. People are going to really like your readings. They're going to feel really comfortable. They're going to feel at home. They're going to... You know how sometimes you will um, watch a tarot, a tarot channel and you just feel really comfortable that even when the story doesn't resonate with them, they actually just... Well, you, you just play it in the background because you're familiar with them and they feel like your friends. People will feel that way. And because people feel that way, um, more people will pay attention to your story. So when... Okay, this is so weird. So when they see it apply to somebody in the public eye, they're going to recognize it. And then people are going to call the bad guys out. <gasps> Ooh, ooh! I know what's happening. You're doing okay. I, cause I do this too. I sometimes pick up on the on the energies of a, of of public figures, and you are going to do a tarot reading where you recognize, where where, where you kind of pinpoint the um the patterns of of something that 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 is happening in a public figure's life, and then people will watch your channel will watch your channel and then they will recognize because they love you because they love the um the aura the environment of your channel or whatever 
this this is obviously just going to apply to those people with a, a a youtube channel okay so if you don't have a youtube channel and you're a private investigator or you're just a hobbyist sleuth this obviously this part is obviously not going to apply to you but if you do have a tiktok channel or a youtube channel people are just going to really love your personality they feel really comfortable around you and because of that they will just like they will just enjoy listening to you because look at look at this rich girl and her um living environment she she seems really comfortable right it's got the little buddha um statue in the back and then she's got her two cats and then there's this there's this shisha and people will feel that way when they're in your living room your online your digital um living room on your channel on your twitch on your whatever right and then because they're so accustomed to hanging out on your channel they they will listen to your readings even if it doesn't resonate with them personally now some people will listen to some of your readings and they will recognize it when it happens to a public figure Ooh, ooh, so don't stop don't stop whatever whatever um whatever energies you're picking up on never stop posting them because they might actually help somebody okay they might actually help somebody because you're their gift you're the gift to this person okay so maybe this person maybe this the victim that you're trying to help might not exist in your direct vicinity they could be a public figure and maybe this public figure um maybe the universe owes them some good karma and you are their good karma Ooh, okay so okay there's something else that i want to show you it's okay tress tarot okay so this is channel called tress okay tress tarot you okay something on his um on his community tab no not this one not this one this okay you need to this i think this might apply to you and i actually see i actually responded to that maybe the person is actually maybe this oh okay so basically okay it's all kind of coming together now you might actually manage to prevent a crime a white collar crime through your tarot readings and it has to do with this energy so cancer energy cause something to do with ju the justice system something that oh another thing that i picked up from this remember when i said all children be belong on this earth there's no birth that on this earth that um wasn't meant to be but some people have children for the wrong reasons and i actually just did a, a reading another reading i think i'm going to title it something like what does a comic um want from your person and this person, this person, the, the, the bad person in your story, the person that you're trying to expose, this person's ancestors are actually really angry at them. They're so angry that when, when this, this bad person tries to embrace spirituality, the ancestors won't even let them because they think that this person um, will misuse their spiritual abilities to, to, for, for selfish reason, for, for, um, for um, personal gain. That's how fucked up this person is, okay? Because I actually felt like the ancestors were saying, well, if, you, if we can't even trust you to bring a child into this world for the right reasons, then how can we trust you with psychic or spiritual abilities? So there's that too. So that might resonate for somebody. But yeah, your, um, your reading might actually help a stranger well i mean yeah they all help strangers but this might be somebody um that you didn't expect so there's that so i hope that helped god but the the main the main advice is don't don't um 
don't stop okay don't stop people will intimidate you people try to get you to shut up but eventually you're you, you just i know i know you sometimes we get readings and we get channeled messages that feel like they just don't make sense they're just oh this story is just too weird this story is just too outlandish but we post them anyway and they get no views and you know maybe maybe it will help somebody someday but just just leave it there is it's it's not about persistence really it's 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 not persistence in that you should post every day it's not that kind of persistence but i feel like it's a kind of persistence where you feel like oh this would never you know resonate for anybody just keep it up keep it up don't delete your uh, don't delete your um readings just because you they make you feel a certain way you feel oh that was so outlandish don't don't <coughs> <coughs> oh my toe chakra getting attacked again don't feel that way um just just keep posting them and keep them up because you never know you never know it might apply to one person hope and big water the thing i'm getting from this is that it might apply for just one person but let's say this person let's say they own a car company i don't know why i keep getting a, a car company with this chariot in reverse or this could be a cancer or this could be somebody who's finding um a cure to cancer can you imagine can you imagine if somebody were in the process of finding the cure to cancer and there's this gold digger just messing with their lives and trying to stress this person out or trying to make bad things happen to this person and this person can't focus on the on their work a lot of people would would, would miss out and if this person gets screwed up in the head and they can't run their company and their company employs thousands of people a lot of people will um they'll they'll feel the effects so you know just because just because um your reading only helps one person a lot of people might actually rely on the on that person for jobs for their health for whatever and just by saving this one person by saving this this person and and because i also got the energy of somebody trying to take over this person's company and if somebody were to take over this person's company and it was mismanaged like like in the lisa frank story line watch that video please watch that video i strongly recommend watching that video um you could save a lot of other people you could save this person's employees because you never know if the company tanks then a lot of people might end up losing their jobs and if they lose their jobs their kids can't go to school they they, they, they can't feed their families so you never know just just because you think you're just saving one person doesn't mean that you're not saving a a, a, a bigger number of, of, of people right so i'm really sorry i'm kind of incoherent i'm really really tired i had a really rough week um but I just and sorry for the um, air, you know um, I live near a, a a military air base. So thanks for watching. I'm really sorry this was all over the place, but I hope some part of it resonated and it helped somehow. So thank you so much for watching.